how to create professional business cards for free. Hi guys, welcome back to another video and in today's video, I'm going to be telling you how you can create your very own personal business cards. So having said that, let's just jump into the video. So I'm over here on Canva. We are going to be using Canva to create our personal business card design. It's absolutely free. That is why we are using it. And there are some designs that are premium, but we're not going to be using those. We're only going to be using the free versions because there are tons and tons of different designs that we can use. So here in the search bar, what you're going to do is when you logged in onto Canva, it's actually very simple. I just use the Google sign in option and I'm over here. Now, once you're over here, you're going to go over here onto the search bar and you're going to search for, you know, business cards. Just simply search for business cards and down below you can see you have some options right here we got business card portrait we've got business card landscape you know what you can choose whichever option you want we're going to choose the classical landscape version and here you've got all these different options right here you can see some of them are really designed well like this one it's really simple right you can use something like that or if you want some colors you can use some colorful ones or you know something like this although some of them are really different right i don't think they're good designs but they're different i would say so that's why i'm you know you could use them if you want to be different nothing's wrong with that so yeah you can use those some of them are really tacky some of them are really good like this one right here now this one is a premium design although it does not look good this one is a free design it looks good very simple very elegant we've got the front we've got the simple logo dag and at the back we've got all the credentials very simple design we can use something like that if you already have seen a design and you want to replicate them let's say you know we come over here onto google on google images and search for business card designs all right let's go ahead and search for some simple business card designs we'll go into images maybe we'll find something that we'll like over here you know as you can see some of them are in portrait as well so if you already have a design you can go ahead and create one similar to that me personally i really like a simple design like this one with minimal color because that's what you want although the color scheme of it doesn't you know match i would say if i was an older person i would have trouble you know looking at the colors a little bit different if my eyesight was weak so maybe we can do something about that make it a little bit darker like this one you know the color scheme is good very nice like this one as well black goes really really well so yeah something like that would look really really good so let's go ahead and try to create one now you can go ahead and use one of these you know one of these templates or what you can do is you can just simply scroll back up and click on create a blank business card this will open up a blank canvas where you are free to do whatever you want so here we go so here we have the canvas right here let me just input a design just so that we can see okay this one is a premium i can use that just want to see the placement of it how okay the whole canvas is covered by it okay so that's good that's good to know all right let's go ahead and try to create one for us now a business card should be very simple there's supposed to be two of them we got the front and then we've got the back right the front one is going to have your logo and you know your name or whatever the company name is and the back one is going to contain all of your information so let's go ahead and say that you know you have a real estate business you're a real estate agent and your business car right so we're going to search for something similar let's go ahead and search for a house maybe get a get a nice logo of a house over here we're going to come over here and search for house and we're going to hit enter and over here we're just simply going to go ahead and pick out one of the graphics over here to see which one will look good all right i think this one looks good with this cut out and i also changed the background color to a cream color as well just simply click on the background click on the background color it's going to open up over here and then over here you can click on the color wheel and then just select the color i liked this one with a little bit of off shade color i think that looks good and for this one we can change the color to something else let's say blue but not too much blue right we want to keep it dark but not too bright not too black so something like this one along the lines of yeah the gray or blue i think this looks good yeah something like this and now we're gonna go ahead and give ourselves a name right name of our company whatever it is and to do that we just simply click on anywhere and then just press the t button this will allow us to input the paragraph option and here we can change the font the size make it bolder whatever you want right so let me just think of a good name so for the name i think you could just you know call it whatever you want you can give your own name right so let's say 
Francis Real Estate or something else, James Real Estate, whatever you want to call it. Let's say Jimmy's. And then for now, all right, I think that looks good. And now we'll leave it at that for now. And let's go ahead and change the fonts. I'm going to click on it. And here we can find some different fonts. So let's go ahead and click on textile. Maybe change that. Go back over here. I was trying to find some different fonts. And I personally found a good font that would look good with overall aesthetics. A little bit cartoonish, I would say. So let me just search for it one little font so we got these ones i think this looks good right it's a little bit childish as well but not too much i would say let's go ahead and you know, make it a little bit bigger put it right here and then over here we'll down below we'll add we'll copy and paste right below here but we'll make it smaller and maybe a little bit bigger so here we'll just add the real estate although this one i don't like that much maybe okay, this one looks much better yeah cleaner so here we have ourselves our fonts now i just want to align it with the house over here like put it in the center like that but also here there we go i think that looks good and we'll change the color to match the house which is this one i think that looks good maybe put it someplace else but yeah you know simple card simple nothing too crazy everything's over here now we just center align it a little bit like that and i think that looks good yeah that looks good that's going to be our front side and then for here we're going to do the exact same thing i'm going to copy the change the color scheme there we go and now i'm going to add all the names right so again i'm just simply going to copy this one this house and paste it right here sorry copy the entire house there we go so now we have that over here and i'm going to place it over here and i'm going to make it a little bit bigger nothing too crazy and paste it someplace here and here i'm gonna add my title right my name my title and then all of my number name and contacts right and the fonts i'm gonna choose something else this time because you know that was too much i would say that's the right amount you know if i do all of that it'll be too much so again i'm gonna i choose this font it looks pretty good and i'm pretty happy with it i'm gonna change the color I'm going to add my title over here at the bottom and I'm going to put it right here and I'm going to say manager and, you know, probably paste that right here and maybe change it a little bit so that it looks a little bit different. So, for example, let's say if I have an effect, add that or maybe there is something else. We can add like a underline effect. I think that would look good. And then down below, I'm going to add my phone number. For that, I think we should go with the uh, call or phone number icon over here. Maybe we find that. So something like this one. It's a bit too big. I want to worry. We'll just make it smaller. And we'll also want email. So we'll search for email and add that over here as well. It's a bit too big. Smaller. There we go. I think it's same size. Although maybe this one would look much better since it matches with the phone. So we'll go with this one. There we go. That looks good. Now we'll paste that over here and we'll add the location as well. Search for location and find the icon we were looking for. Something like this. All right, we're going to change the color of all of them. So it doesn't really matter. And paste that over here. And I think that looks good, but I'll actually make it a little bit smaller. Maybe position it right here. And this one, I'll just position it center over here and maybe move it along as well and yeah i think that looks so should I maybe put it above over here and we'll just add our number also let me just change the colors before i forget simply click over here and here and there we go colors are changed that looks good so here we go i think this looks good this is actually pretty clean we can add some more elements like maybe add some cornering if you need but overall i think this looks good pretty simple you got your manager you've got your title number hello you know and yeah and after that i think all that's left for us to do is to just simply click on share and then download them and then there you go as simple as that and then you can go ahead and download the design print them and boom so pretty simple this is how you do it this is how you create professional business cards for free on canva so thank you guys for watching hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did be sure to hit the like button subscribe to the channel and turn on post notifications and i will catch you guys in the next video and until then take care and goodbye